what a good way to end this series, to end the six, what is what was it, five, six game losing streak that we had going on. What a nice way to end it, beating the Braves in very dramatic fashion. I mean, there was a there was a two out rally by the Braves, bottom of the ninth. Why would the why would the bullpen not make it a little bit exciting? And you know, lets up a double into the gap by Freddie Freeman. Roman Quinn cuts it off before he hits the wall. Throws it to DD on his rally. DD throws it to Andrew Knapp. Not even JT. Andrew Knapp plays the tag on Dansby, Dansby Swanson, who tried to steal that all the way from first. Phillies win 5-4. to four. Good way to end the weekend from a very, you know, eh day. I was pretty much in a bad mood ever since the Sixers lost, even though I knew that they were going to. But the Phillies win. They are now 10-14 and 14 on the season. We play the the Nationals tomorrow, and then we play the Braves again in another series later this week. But, hey, we got a win. Eflin gets the win. Workman gets his save. Almost blown it. Blew it again for the second night in a row. I didn't make a video yesterday about the Phillies because I was just so angry at the bullpen. I, I just would have gone insane. But... We got the win. We lost the series. We did get the win. Uh, you know that that's good. But we still need the work to do. I want this team. To, I want this team in the playoffs. Do I think we're gonna win? No. And I said this in my video a couple days ago. But I think to get these guys some, you know, playoff experience. Reese Hoskins, Aaron Nola. Uh, I don't even know. Wheeler has probably been there, but. Bryce Harper, JT, you know, these guys haven't been in the playoffs with the Phillies yet. I want to see this team in the playoffs. That is what I want. They have some work to do. You know, the 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 trade deadline is later this week, the 31st. I'm sure I, th I feel like the Phillies should make a couple more moves here and there. But I'm ready for because we're almost halfway done this season. I'm ready for the Phillies to make you know, a step to take this leap going into the second half of the season and see if we can try and make the playoffs because that is what I want more than anything right now. Now with the Sixers being out, I need the Philadelphia Phillies to have my full interest. I will be posting tons of Phillies content because I want this team in. But, hey, we got the win. Pitching stats, Eflin went five and a third, six hits, three earned runs, six strikeouts. Uh, Heath Hembury made his Phillies debut, pitched one and two thirds of an inning, pitched pretty well. Only allowed one hit, no earned, two strikeouts. Tommy Hunter came in, pitched a very good one inning, two strikeouts. And then Brandon Workman came in after the blown save yesterday, came in today and, you know, pitched one inning, pitched the bottom of the ninth. Allowed two hits, one earned, but we did walk away with the win because of Didi Gregorius. And for Andrew Knapp hanging on to that ball, great play by those two guys. Wait, like, just way to have awareness at that point. But the player of the game, to me, had to be Alec Bohm. I mean, he was, I'm pretty sure he was 3-for-3. Three three. Yeah, he was 3-for-3 three three today. Two runs scored. He he hit his first home run. I'm pretty sure it was a solo shot, to like 440 into the into the uh, the little fountain that they have in center field. Very good game from him. He brings his average up to 344 on the season. Harper struggled tonight. He was 0 for 5. Just couldn't seem to get it. You know, couldn't seem to get it going. Reese Hoskins hit his second home run of the year. Two RBIs, two hits. Obviously, he scored. He did strike out twice, but what more can you ask for from the guy? Kutch got another RBI, two hits, and he scored. Uh, there was another guy. DD hit a home run today. RBI. The Phillies as a whole, hitting-wise, is not the problem. It's going to be this bullpen. It's going to be the starting pitching. I'm pretty sure Arietta is going to go tomorrow. 
pretty sure about that. But we need to we need to string together a, a very solid run right here. Again, as I said, we play the Nationals and then we play the Braves. This is not going to be like a, a walk in the park. This is divisional teams. But after this weekend, uh, we play the Braves again. And then after that, we're done with the Braves. So now we have the Marlins, the Mets, the, the Nationals, you know, teams of that nature. We also have the Red Sox one more time. Uh, we're done with the Yankees. We have the Blue Jays one more time. We have the Rays twice. We have the Orioles one more time. We need to string together some wins, though. You know, you can't go on a five-game losing streak and expect to, like, just win series or, or split. You can't expect to split series and still make the playoffs. Now you have to start winning series. You have to beat these teams that you're supposed to be able to beat. With Strasburg going out, I truly believe that the Phillies should be able to beat the Nationals and I think this is a four-game series. They have to be able to beat them. I'm sorry, but they do. This is... You, you can't split with this team. Do we play? I don't even know. I th we might be off tomorrow, actually. Yeah, we're off tomorrow. My bad on that one. But we are off. Then two days from now, we play the Nationals. And then I'm pr now it might be a three-game series. I don't really know. Haven't been like really like up to par with that but yeah it's a it's a three game series against the Nats we are off tomorrow sorry about all that confusion it's a little late but the Phillies won that's what I wanted today to not get swept by the Braves we had 10 hits one error Alec Bohm you know as I said three hits on the day he did make a fielding error that actually allowed Freddie Freeman to score late earlier in this game Pretty sure that was the third inning. But we walk away with the win. That's all you can really ask for. You got to go in, though, with this series. You got to go into this next series, and you have to win. You have to beat the Nationals. You do. We'll have Nola probably finish that off. Uh, well, Eflin just went today. He pitched solid. Arietta's probably going to go tomorrow. I guess Velasquez is going to go on, on Wednesday. And Velasquez scares me. I'm not going to lie. But the bullpen did look decent tonight. Hembry looked good. He looked good. More, uh, Hunter looked good. And, you know, Workman had that scare at the end, but we pulled it out. And that's all you can ask for from this team. They had one, two, three, four, five, six. They had six pitches going. They were working out that bullpen from the fourth inning on. But, uh, you know, Dansby Swanson had three hits today. Three doubles he had. Freeman, he had three RBIs, two hits. Azuna had one RBI. Uh, Riley had two hits. These are good players. This is a very good team. But, as you can see, 10 and 14, we're not too far out of it. We're really not. I truly believe that this team can make the playoffs. I keep telling myself that, but they should be able to make this team. This constructed team should be able to make the playoffs. I don't know why I think that, but the, I I do, and I think if you make the playoffs, JT's a lock to come back. I think then, you know, Didi gives you a little leeway in in signing him back. Because everybody's saying, oh, sign JT. Yeah, you have to sign JT Romuto. Don't get me wrong. You saw what Sixto Sanchez does, did just last night. Pretty sure he pitched like six innings, had four strikeouts. He was he was in the hundreds. He hit 100 a couple times. But that was the centerpiece of the JT trade. You have to re-sign JT Romuto. I'm saying you even have to re-sign Gregorius. Just on a, a couple-year deal, three-year deal, I would say. Because McCutcheon's almost gone, so you're going to need that veteran bat in your lineup. That can be him. Bohm is already a hitting machine. I'm not worried about him at all. His fielding is eh, but we need, you know, him, Kingery, like the younger guys, Hazley, Quinn. They need to start producing a little bit more. But that 
that's for a whole nother day. This is just, Phillies get the win. They avoid the sweep against the Braves. Yesterday was awful. The day before that was embarrassing. Today, we walk away with a win on live TV. On ESPN, this game was aired. So at least we showed the nation that, hey, we can win games. It just takes clearly a scare to do it. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, almost at 700. I'm pretty sure we are less than 25 away from 700 subscribers. But with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And I am out. Peace.